you all. He's back. Did you miss us a little bit? I did miss you all a little bit. I missed the humidity a little bit. You know, we are, we're out west visiting uh, my in-laws where it is incredibly dry in the wonderful world of potatoes. Um, so I am happy to be back where there is a, at least a little bit of moisture. It's obviously not horribly humid outside, mm -hmm. but it's always nice to be back where there is a little bit of moisture. The bigger question here is, did you miss me? Feel free to answer honestly. So how's the weather, Jordan? Oh, the weather's I'm absolutely, just kidding. I'm just kidding. The weather's absolutely <laughs> fantastic, and I'm actually disappointed because we all of those... We missed you. Kanisha missed me. That's all that matters. I'm a little disappointed because all of these numbers were literally here like 10 seconds ago, and I happened to glance over and discovered that all of the numbers for Arab, Albertville, Fort Payne, Coleman, and Huntsville all disappeared. But I suppose you get the general idea uh, with what's left. Scottsboro saw 77 this afternoon. Athens and Decatur saw 75. Uh, Florence saw a high today of just. 79 degrees. Bear in mind our average high temperature right around 81 or 82. 66 by 7, 60 by 8, 55 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. Really is going to be a fantastic evening. If you'd like to spend some time outside, open those windows when you head to bed tonight. You definitely don't need the air conditioner tonight. You probably didn't even need it today. I know mine wasn't running. Temperatures dropping into the upper 40s and lower 50s. Got a low right around 49 degrees. Really is going to be a great night across the Tennessee Valley. I can't imagine many of you have had to do a lot of outdoor work over the last couple of weeks when you consider the fact that uh, we really haven't seen an overabundance of rain. But just in case you do have a little bit of yard work tomorrow, will allow me to provide you with a forecast. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, 74 at 1, 77 by 4, 67 by 7 o'clock. Looks like many of us are going to finish the day uh, in the mid and upper 70s, right around 77 or 78. Then there's a little bit of consistency through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Actually, it looks like a cold front's going to move through the Tennessee Valley by the time we get to the final day of the work week. That's really going to drop our temperatures as we head into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Cold front comes through the Tennessee Valley, but there is not a single drop of rain in the forecast through the entirety of the work week and the entirety of the weekend. We're also looking over the next couple of weeks. Climate Prediction Center gets us through about the uh, middle part of October, through October 17th, as a matter of fact, about a 60% chance at seeing below average precipitation across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, and across much of the continental United States, for that matter. Now, I don't want you to be too shocked by this or too concerned by this because October is actually uh, one of our driest months and I actually think it is the driest month in the calendar year. On average we only get right around 3.59 inches of rain in the month of October uh, so it's not normally a month that yields a lot of rain in the Tennessee Valley. Now that number does begin to go up somewhat drastically as we head into November and December. We don't necessarily need the rain across the Tennessee Valley. Now some of us are talking about abnormally dry conditions uh, but that's about it. Like I said we don't necessarily necessarily need the rain. Off to the tropics we go. We're talking about a couple of different areas of interest right now. It doesn't look like either is going to have any sort of impact on the continental United States. We are into the last few weeks of the Atlantic hurricane season. The Atlantic hurricane season tends to wrap up uh, in November or December. It is October, which means once again, I am participating in the Real Men Wear Pink campaign uh, to help provide funding for the American Cancer Society here in North Alabama. Uh, those of you that have been following along with me for the last several years know that this is something new near and dear to me. I love working with the American Cancer Society here in North Alabama. I've been doing it for several years. If you'd like to donate to my Real Men Wear Pink campaign, you can go to my Facebook. I've also made it really easy for you. You can just scan uh, that QR code. Now I'm changing the graphic, but the QR code is also on the seven day forecast, which will have a pink background through the entirety of October. 78 and 79 Tuesday and Wednesday back into the lower 80s by the time we get to Thursday. And then there's your weekend. The weekend looks absolutely fantastic.